Hello everybody. In this video, I have the STM8 microcontroller. I'm going to switch on and off this red LED through the terminal. Also, it is sending the data uh, from MCU to PC. And let's type uh, N for no and send and the red LED is off. Let's switch on it again. Type Y and send. It's on. Let's get started with this. The module I'm using is this. It's a FTDI. You can use any USB to TTL converter. The wiring diagram is here. Ground to ground. RX to D5. TX to D6. Uh, you can supply power from VCC to 3.3 volt if you want. Or you can supply power from here. But when you want to upload the code, you have to use these pins to upload the code as I shown in this video, which is available in here. Uh, for the FTDI, put the jumper in this side, 3.3 side, 3 volt side, it's very important. The wiring connection is here. I'm supplying the 3.3 volt from the FTDI. You may need to go to this side for the driver and click here to install the driver for the FTDI. Uh, first of all, I create a project folder. I right click and uh, new folder. Uh, STM8 UART folder created. Now I go to Visual Develop and I create a new workspace. Uh, create workspace. Uh, give um, workspace UART and folder. I select the the folder I created in the des desktop. I go to desktop and this is the one. Okay. Okay. Uh, project name uh, STM8 UART. Uh, location is uh, the one I created. Cosmic. Okay. And I put the part number STM8S103. Uh, this is the one 3P. Select. Okay. It's created now when you right click double click and double click the source file um, there are only two files there is nothing in here so we go to the library uh, standard preferred library I, I downloaded in the introduction video it's here so I um, I double click this one and extract all and extract and uh, this is the one now double click and double click the library standard preferred driver and right click and uh, properties and uh, cancel the read only apply okay okay now double click this one and i copy both of them and copy it and i go to the project folder This is the project folder I created I, and I paste it here. So those two libraries are here. And also I need this file. Uh, this is the website. I, I give the link in the description. Uh, I have shown those things. Uh, we need to include these files from the library. Also this file. So click this one. Um, this is the configuration file. Right click and uh, save as. And you save in the desktop, um, desktop, the project folder is here, and uh, include, and we save here, we delete this one, conf.h, uh, this is the file name I saved, uh, now we can go back. Now we go to the IDE, go to the IDE, um, we right click this one to include the files. So add files to folder and uh, the folder is here, the include, these are the files here, we need to include these files, these files 
and this one five files from include folder so this one and hold the control key and then this one and gpio and you uh, what you sat sorry you at one and also that conf file uh, here so five files open so now when we double click this one the libraries are here and also we need these files these three files that's we have to right click here and uh, add files to folder go to src and uh, the files are this one and uh, this one and uh, this one open so we got all the files necessary now we open the main.c file uh, we delete all of them i have given the main.c file in my website when you go below this is the main.c file code so i copy all of them and i will explain later what are the things um, copy until here and then paste it in main.c file now we can save that's all the code uh, one more thing we need to do is to go to stm8s.h and uh, the next page we need to uncomment this one and then we save it now we go to main.c file so i sh show what's happening here from the beginning we include the stm8s.h this is the millisecond delay function and this is the uh, to send uh, string from mc microcontroller to pc this small function we check the status uh, you send the data one byte at a time and we wait for the status to reset and uh, yeah so print string we, uh, we can send the string to print uh, to the UART um, to print in number uh, we have the number here and we break the um, each digit and we send as a string that's what is happening here so also the negative value if it is negative value we put the negative sign as a string um, yeah it can print from uh, minus 999,999 plus 99,999 yeah from here until here is the uh, printing number function so basically yeah it's sending the print string here so basically what it does is it's uh, take the number and put into a string and send it to you what in the main function here um, we have the character one for the in char and then the, uh, this is the this is the number we sent to the P P mcu to pc this is how we initialize the uh, uart with the baud rate and uh, length is 8d and uh, stop bit is 1 parity is no and these are the other parameters and then we enable the uart in the loop we check for the incoming data if there is an incoming data we get it in in, in char if in char is has a capital n we switch on the led because it's a reverse polarity so we switch on if it is y we switch on the led switch off the led and switch on the led uh, whatever we put from the terminal we type n or y according to it we switch on and off the library that's what it here and here it's printing string the value is and then the integer we print 
separate integer function and then increment that uh, num number and delay 300 milliseconds. Uh, now we can save and uh, build, rebuild all. Yeah, all done. Now we go to um, Visual Programmer. Make sure you connected the ST link to the PC uh, and uh, file open. Um, we go to the desktop. We go to the project folder that is this one and go to debug folder and open this one. And then we go to option byte. Make sure this is off. And then come back to program memory and uh, program current tab. Yeah, it's uploaded. Now we can close. Now we can remove the ST link and connect the USB cable to the FTDI, USB to TTL converter and open any serial terminal. I'm using the cool term. I have given in the description how to install the cool term. And uh, in the cool term, you go to option and uh, select the port and its baud rate is 9600 that's we set 8 none and 1 and we can ok we, when we connect uh, we can get the data here the data is coming from the microcontroller let's switch off the LED connection send string and uh, when I type N send the red LED is off when I type Y and send the LED is on. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.